Hey guys, welcome to another video tutorial from Enlist Cube. We're going to discuss something very interesting in this video. We'll learn about keyed tables. In our previous videos, we have introduced you to dictionaries and tables. So now is the perfect time to introduce you to keyed tables. So what exactly are key tables? Well, I'll tell you what they're not. Tables. If you take away one thing from this video, it's that key tables are poorly named and are not tables. However, after watching this video, you should have a better understanding of why they are named key tables. To really understand key tables, we first need to review dictionaries and tables. Recall that dictionaries are simply mappings between keys and values made up of lists. Here we're gonna we're going to create a list, uh, a dictionary first, composed of two lists. So, list one, price, size. List two with the values 100, 200, 300, and then 10, 20, and 30. We can create a dictionary by just mapping these two lists together. So our dictionary will be named dict, and we're gonna map list one to list two, and this is what the dictionary looks like. Just to confirm that we do have a dictionary, we'll do a type on that and we get a 99 type back. So we confirm that this is a dictionary. If we take this dictionary and flip it, as you may recall, we'll get a table. So flip this dictionary, and now we have a table. And just to confirm that this is a table, we can run a type on this, and it's not 99 anymore, it's 98, which is for tables. A direct way to create tables is to use this very popular syntax, which goes something like this. So let's create a table called, we'll call it tab, parentheses, brackets, we'll leave them blank for now, then price, 100, 200, 300, size, 10, 20, 30. If we look at that, here's the same table that we have before, and just to confirm the type, we get the same type back, so this is a table. Going back to key tables, key tables are dictionaries that instead of mapping lists, map one table to another table. And its keys and values are both tables. Let's use some examples to illustrate what we just said. We'll take our previous table, which we just created, tab, and map it to a new table containing just one column using the bang operator, just as we would create a regular dictionary. So let's look at some more examples. We're going to create a single column table. We'll call it single call. Leave the brackets blanks. Name of the column would be sim, and the values would be Apple, IBM, Microsoft. And if you take a look at that, that's what it looks like. And we have our other table tab with two columns, price and size. Now, if we map these two tables together, let's say we will call it key tab and we'll map single call using the bang operator to tab, all right? And we'll see what that looks like now. So it looks very similar to a table, right? Except with this, this line going through vertically, which kind of reminds you of a dictionary. Now, if you were to do a type on this, you'll notice something very interesting. It is not 98H, it's 99, which is for dictionaries. So we took two tables and we mapped them together and that gave us a dictionary, which what we call a keyed table. Now there's another way to create keyed tables and that's by using the usual table syntax. So you don't always have to create two tables and then join them together using the bang operator. You can simply put the keyed column within the brackets and rest of the syntax stays the same. So here's an example. We'll call this key tab underscore two and open parentheses, we'll open the brackets, and this time we'll put the column that we want keyed inside the brackets. So sim, Apple, IBM, Microsoft, and everything else stays the same. Size 10, 20, 30. Now if you take a look at that, you'll see we have the same key table as earlier. 
just to confirm we can do a type on that as well and you'll see it's not a table again it's a text tree what if you already have a table and you want to convert it to a key table Q has a built-in keyword X key to do that for you simply list the name of the columns you want keyed to the left of the keyword and the name of the table to the right so let's take a look so we'll I am going to copy this table and not have sim as a key there so this is just a normal table right now right if you don't add normal table so how can we use X key to key the sim column and convert this table into a key table so we'll just put sim here and then say X key and that converts it to a keyed table you can also do the same but have multiple keys so it doesn't have to be just one key you can say sim and size and then the first these two columns are now your key columns another way to convert a table to key table is by using the bang operator instead of specifying the name of the columns you want to key you specify their position so for example let's take this table again and if we just say to bang the table it'll convert the first two to um, it will key the first two columns, which were sim and price. As you can see, this can lead to some unintended results, so I recommend using X key instead. What if you wanted to go the other way and convert a key table to a regular table? You can still use X key, but this time you have to specify empty parentheses as the left argument. That will remove any keys that your key table has, which will convert it to a regular table. So for example, let's take the so let's take this table that we have and we have keyed it already so it's a keyed table with sim and size being over two keys if we so just to be sure here we go if we do empty parentheses and x key again on this it will remove the keys and you now have a regular table we can do the same by using the bang operator and specifying zero as the left argument so let's take this table again, right? So we, again, this has two keys. We take zero, bang, and that would remove the keys, making it a regular table. So that was it. I hope this video helped clear any doubts you had about key tables. As mentioned in the beginning, always remember that key tables are not tables, they're dictionaries. I know it can be a little tricky at first, but once you really understand how these key tables are constructed under the hood, it makes sense that they're dictionaries and not tables. As always, feel free to leave comments, share feedback. Um, if you have any questions, any suggestions, you can email us at himanshu at enlistq.com. Thanks.